Radio. My name is Seidu Hamdia. You can watch us live on Facebook, EP Urban Radio. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, EP Radio. You can as well follow us for more news, ep-radio.com. You can also download our app on Play Store, EP Radio. Now, fuel hike in the world market has had its ripple effect on local consumption. Due to this hike, one would expect an increment in fair price, but Ghana Private Road Transport Union, GPRTU, has denied drivers from increasing their fares. A section of drivers in the country shared their ordeal with the EP News. We are tired. The government should do something about the rampant fuel hike. We start work between the hours of 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. only to come home empty-handed because we use all our money on fuel. Nowadays, when our drivers work, they always come back complaining that the fuel pump is faulty, and they go to workshop thinking that there is problem within the pump, but not knowing the fuel they buy at the cost of 150 get finished within some few hours and because of this life has become very unbearable for us so government should do something about the fuel they should reduce the fuel cost moving on the use of marijuana, popularly known as weed, is against the laws of the country and any person caught with this is dealt with in a court of law. Some media personalities like Kwesi Pratt, Abe Kusantana, Black Rasta and Kwame Sefakai have called for the legalization of marijuana in the country. This has called for a diverse opinion among some Ghanaians. A section of Ghanaians share their opinion with AP News. Legalization weed in Africa is negative, seriously negative. You know why? A lot of youth smoke weed, get mad. Why? Because of their blood. That's why. When they legalize weed, anything will spoil in Ghana. We are in Africa. We, are ma we must not legalize. Let's live the way we live. Why we should we legalize weed? Big work and let's have to survive. Weed is not anything, but some people take it something. Why will you legalize it? You should not legalize it. It's negative. Like someone when you smoke, sometimes he used to fight, sometimes he used to steal, sometimes everybody the way he smoke, the way it does to him. And a lot of people, they don't know why they smoke. If you ask them why they smoke, they don't get answer. Then you have to stop. You have to smoke because of something. That's why you smoke. Because smoke to get in your heart is a disease. It can kill so easy. So get a youth. Watch out. No, no legalization. No any legalization. We beg you. We are not fighting, but we beg you, our youth. We say no legalization. Let's leave Ghana alone, our motherland. Peace. No legalize. In my opinion, I think it's not the best. Why? Because uh, since we didn't legalize itself, look at the way the youth are destroying. So imagine if we legalize it, it will be worse than what we are seeing now. Because they will abuse it the most. Uh, in Ghana here, yeah, we abused a lot. So I think it's not the best to legalize it. It's not the best at all. Though we can gain more money out of it, but then if you look at the side effect too, it's too much. I don't know whether if they can control the smoking, but I don't think it's easy. Because like the youth of nowadays, they are not easy to be controlled. So I think the realization of Guana is very, very bad. I think it's not, it's not the best. When they take the marijuana, they don't take only the testing the marijuana. They used to add some of Searching cast uh, this is castles and then, uh, and then this is the Kamuna. So it affects them. They used to go mad. Uh, so we used to go mad to talk about the this thing, about the Kamuna. To, to
Ogoni Nagata has left residents of the area agitated. The, the dwellers of Nima are calling on government to make haste in completing what they term as abandoned projects. And as we can see beside me or behind me, you can see a lot of refuse here. We are currently here at the Nima Gata, that is how you call this place. And as we can see, this is a bridge. Actually, it was a gutter and it has been covered up and no. it's a bridge and we can see rubbish all over. Now, the people here are complaining bitterly. We just spoke to one of the residents here who told us about how this, how this particular refuse is destroying their lives and all that. We can also see some people selling on the pavement which causes danger to their health. When uh, the ex-minister that was on, the, uh, on this constituency uh, was Dr. Mustafa, so because of uh, the election, he wanted to retain his power. That is why he built this gutter. But as you can see, I've never seen a gutter that they have uh, covered up because it is a dangerous thing that they have done. Because the other day that uh, it rains, you can see some a lot of materials that came out of the water and it nearly caused a severe, a severe harm to those houses that are nearby the water. So the, the water that they have done over here is very, it's, it's not good at all. So what? Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot. Because you can see, as you can see, the water is now at the left and right side at where the main water is. Because you can see the refuse and all kinds of stuff in the water. So it's like they have to come back and just make sure they collect all the rubbish and just put it at one place so that if they will be able to try and let the water flow from the main water, that would be a good idea. And it's not kids alone that pass on this bridge because as especially Saturday, Sunday, you can see maybe Saturday like this or maybe Sunday like this, you pass on this normal place to go to uh, the park. You can see people, are, now you can see people to go at the front there, you can see people are making business over there. They have put some seed there to sell and mostly to sometimes they use this main place for um, Aure, as the uh, Aousa people call it. And this is very dangerous for them to just do that. But you know, we are in Nima, so they think we, uh, we own ourselves, but they don't know the damages and the effect that is what will cause us one day. Uh, you know, in Nima, yeah, shall everybody do whatever you want. They will not think about tomorrow. They think about their selfish interests. Because selling on the pavement like this is not good for we black people or it's not good for us to sell because of, you know, maybe something can just happen, so as that can just happen and which will cause a very big danger and havoc for us. But immediately you tell them, they will just say, oh, it's not your concern. Maybe, maybe if the person has, it's not your house that they will bring it. So immediately you told them the truth, they will just, just, they will just shout at you. So it's better you have to keep quiet and let them face their consequences. Someone recently slipped on the gutter and slit his neck. We had to take the person to the nearest hospital, where he was later transferred to Ridge Hospital. We are calling on the government to complete it for us because it's even worse when it rains. The gutter overflows into our houses. joining me here on EP Radio. That was our news in brief. My name is Seydou Hamdiya. You can follow us for more news ep-radio.com. You can as well watch us live on Facebook EP Urban Radio. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram EP Radio. Good day.